As any Aldi veteran will tell you, a successful shopping trip takes know-how. But of course, developing this knowledge can take a lot of trial and error. So to give you a head start on your next shopping foray, we've got some tips to help you avoid those rookie mistakes and make your next Aldi adventure a smashing success. Ah, uh, the self-returning carts. They're an iconic part of the Aldi experience. In a world of credit cards and Apple Pay, where cash has become virtually unnecessary in most places, that initial walk from the car to your local Aldi door still brings with it the requirement to somehow dig up a quarter in your purse or your wallet. Maybe check under the driver's seat? If you're trying to seriously get your Aldi shopping on, you're going to need a full-size cart to haul away your goodies. But if you can't find a quarter, you'll end up out of luck. That's why getting an Aldi quarter holder for your keychain can be the right move. It guarantees that as long as you have your keys with you, you won't have to be that one customer carrying way too many things around in your arms. Plus, having this nifty doohickey dangling from your keys is the perfect way to send the signal to everyone around you that you mean business. At Aldi, anyway. A quarter isn't the only thing you need to bring when you head to Aldi. You need to remember your own bags, too. Obviously, reusable shopping bags at any store can be nice, but at Aldi, you definitely want to BYOB or you're literally going to pay for the mistake since they don't provide free bags. While any reusable shopping bags will do the job, what you really want is shopping bags that hook right into the cart. Since one of the ways Aldi keeps the prices so low is by not having anyone bag your groceries, you're going to need to do the bagging yourself. If you can pop some already opened shopping bags right into the rim of your cart once you've emptied it onto the belt, it can make the whole process easy as pie. Don't come crying to me if you eat your piece too fast. <laughs> The truth is, the modern world's shift away from the typical 9 to 5, Monday through Friday work week has made shopping at specific times of the day in order to avoid the crowds less important. Unless you're shopping on the Sunday before Christmas or the Saturday before the Super Bowl, of course. But that doesn't mean there aren't other reasons to plan your Aldi trips around a certain day of the week. In fact, there's one factor that affects this choice in particular, and that's restocking. Aldi typically restocks their Aldi Find section in most of their markets on Wednesdays, with literally dozens of new products hitting the shelves all at once. It's the best time to both check what new specialty items have been introduced to the mix, as well as what other things have been discounted and are on the way out. It can be a great time to nab a deal. That's amazing! I do! Who'd have thought you could save 30% on these products at Aldi? Another thing that any Aldi shopper should always keep in mind is that not all prices are equal. While Aldi has a well-established reputation for providing quality products at very affordable prices, that doesn't mean every single item in your local Aldi is going to be a clearance-level steal. With the store for the little old lady who takes 10 minutes counting out exact change. For one thing, it's important to remember that Aldi portions are much harder to judge than you might think. They often provide products in smaller quantities, but at the same time, their simpler packaging model can also make it hard to tell how different Aldi brands really are from comparable items in other stores. The point here is that between the size and packaging differences, it can be hard to easily judge how much of a deal you're actually getting. Sometimes it can be a steep discount, and other times the savings add up to just a few cents, or none at all. You're going to want to keep that calculator app handy and be ready to do some quick price checking on a case-by-case -case basis if you want to be able to find the best deals. I like your numbers. Most Aldi customers know that the supermarket chain is always stocked with a plentiful supply of grocery store staples. But what many newbie shoppers often fail to notice is that they also have a small, often overlooked specialty section called Aldi Finds or Special Buys. One of the reasons it gets less attention is because it often looks like it's filled with random paraphernalia that has nothing to do with your shopping list. But that randomness is exactly why you need to be checking it out on a regular basis. The Aldi Finds section is actually chock full of products that are impressively priced and can range from limited time food items to gift ideas, back to school specials, and even seasonal decorations. And if you find something you love, stock up. It's not going to be there for long. Not bad. Hang on. Dave just said his pie's not bad. But Dave doesn't like anything. Go tell your dad. One thing you may have heard from a lot of different folks is the fact that Aldi may have some great prices, but because of the sometimes disheveled open boxes and small selection in the produce section, it doesn't come across as the kind of place where you should get things like fruits and veggies. It's crappy, no variety, it's boring, we've got terrible lighting in those stores. 
but if you push past that initial impression, you'll find that the presentation of an Aldi store isn't an indicator of a lack of quality. It's simply a direct result of the desire to keep those prices so darn low. Only the specialist, most amazing products in all the world make it in Aldi stores. Yes, they tend to stock less overall variety in their produce section, but that comes from a deliberate attempt to not have anything perishable go bad on a regular basis. They're just stocking what people are buying. A lot of people tend to avoid the fresh produce at Aldi like it's Walmart quality, but the truth is, it's just a different yet well-structured approach to providing fresh fruits and veggies. Those who've tried it say it's good quality, so don't be afraid to add them to your list. Another area that doesn't get a lot of love is the Aldi Meats department. But once again, the pared-down, simplistic look of an Aldi meat case doesn't automatically imply low quality, and neither do the low prices. Aldi Meats can more than hold their own against other, larger stores that have a reputation for top quality. From their bacon to their whole chickens and everything in between, the meat at Aldi is carefully sourced and well-labeled. But there's one specific label that you're going to want to look for. The Aldi Never Any label is a great sign that the meat you're about to purchase hasn't been over-processed or overloaded with chemicals. The Never Any seal indicates that the animal was raised on a vegetarian diet that did not include any steroids, antibiotics, or hormones. And that's something we can all be happy about. Aldi's commitment to providing healthier options for their customers doesn't stop at their meat offerings. From their Live G-Free gluten-free products to their Earth-grown line of vegetarian and vegan goodies, Aldi has their health food bases covered. The best and most prolific label you'll see stamped on products all over your local store, though, is probably going to be their Simply Nature certification. This simple label indicates that a product is either organic or non-GMO project verified. It also means the product is devoid of artificial ingredients and preservatives. The basic goal with the Simply Nature label is to keep the extra ingredients and processing to a minimum. It's a great label for any savvy shopper to keep an eye out for. One super delicious category to watch out for is the specially selected line of products. This label signifies high-end quality, and we're not just talking about better than Walmart level either. We've already established that pretty much anything at Aldi is going to beat that. But with many of their gourmet items, and with the specially selected items in particular, Aldi has decided to up the ante. At the top of their list of elite foods is their dairy selection. This is no ordinary cheese. This is Aldi's award-winning cheddar. While you can always pick up a cheap bag of pre-sliced cheddar or a handful of Colby Jack cheese sticks, if you look a little bit closer, the Aldi specialty cheese section is a wonder to behold. From well-aged cheddar, deliciously ripe Asiago, mild and smooth brie, and specially selected Gouda, to several different uniquely handcrafted cheeses infused with a variety of different flavors, Aldi gourmet cheeses are an absolute bargain. Coming in minimalist packaging and small sizes, these cheeses are incredibly well-priced, making them the perfect option for assembling your next cheese platter, or maybe just to have on hand to go along with a big glass of wine at the end of a long day. Aldi often front-loads their candies in the first part of the store, with the cheaper Hershey Classics stocked front and center on the shelves. And it's easy to walk right by since you can get those chocolate staples pretty much anywhere you go. But there's something else tucked away there next to the big name brands, and it's worth pausing to consider. We're talking about Aldi's higher-end chocolate selection. Oh, luxury chocolate. Mm -hmm. Someone's splashing out. you think, but it's from Aldi. Aldi? While it's difficult to pin down exactly which chocolates you're going to have in any one store, they're worth nibbling on either way to see how they compare to that Hershey bar sitting one shelf over. With a sweeping variety of brands to choose from, these sweet treats are refined options with very low price tags. The dark chocolates in particular stand out when compared to most higher-priced alternatives and tend to impress even the pickiest of palates. The cherry on top of it all is that Aldi's top brass have expressed their goals to go above and beyond when it comes to getting Fair Trade, Rainforest Alliance, or UTC certified chocolate, so you can indulge with a clean conscience. Most people associate Aldi with food, since the whole store feels like a supermarket. But that doesn't mean they're not stocking other non-edible and totally awesome products as well. The house and home section of the store is often associated with Aldi fine selections, but the products are amazing enough that they deserve their own mention. 
From coffee machines, baking dishes, and utensils, to office furniture, tables, decor, and storage solutions, this section of Aldi never ceases to amaze. The trick here is to check the section regularly, find the things that you know you want to get, and then keep an eagle eye out for when they look like they might be running low. There's usually a golden window of time in which the items are discounted but not yet completely sold out, and that's when you shove that quarter in your cart and get shopping. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.